Hi there. This is a quick overview of how you might use Print42 to help with your debugging and your logging practices. So over here we have Print42 running. All we need to do is paste in the name of our log file and hit enter. And automatically the file will be loaded. You can scroll back and you can scroll to the bottom ready for new entries. Now I can see my app here and at the moment the app isn't running or doing anything. So let's bring up the app. Now notice when I hit that button the server was hit, things happened and I got some log entries. You can change the size of the log entries text font. Let's look at that again. Okay, you can see the, the log file triggering. Now here's the trick. How about you want to annotate the log file? What was on the screen at the time of the log entry? Well, let's take a screenshot. and paste the graphic. You can change the size of the image displayed. So what you have here is the log file and then what was on the screen at the time. That's the idea. So if we go back, do some more things, take another screenshot. Scrolling back through your history, you've got context about what was on the screen at the time of the log entries. So you're annotating the log file without actually affecting it. The debug.log file is not affected on disk. In fact, I can clear the tape and the log file is not affected. This is purely a visual representation. Reload the tape to get a clean version of our log file. So the ability to type text into your tape is useful because you can type notes about what happened at that time in the log file. Something else happens. Another useful thing you might want to do is paste fragments of code into your tape that are relevant to what you're debugging. Paste your text, not here, but via the menu, paste multi-line text block. And your text ends up in the tape. Of course, you can paste code as a screenshot as well. And we can scroll back through time and have a very nice, rich, annotated tape. You can print fragments of your tape to a printer or even print them to a thermal printer. There's thermal printer support down the bottom so if you want a real live ticker tape log file there's your chance. Well I hope that gives you some ideas on how you might use Print42 in your own debugging practices especially with regards to analysing log files.